minute, with war apparently inevitable, the big four signed the Peace of Munich. Hitler and Chamberlain kindle a so-called British-German friendship that will turn to ashes in a fortnight. Mussolini, with the ink scarcely dry upon his signature, prepares new claims on French Premier de Ladier for Tunisia and mastery of the Mediterranean. Round one goes to the dictators. Czechoslovakia, stronghold of democracy in Eastern Europe, is carved up as a menacing Berlin demands. The remnant comes under the economic and political domination of Germany, a totalitarian holiday feast. In America, President Roosevelt confers with his cabinet, closely follows developments overseas, steers the ship of state to keep clear of Europe's hatreds. At New York's World's Fair, World of Tomorrow, the president sees the doom of tyranny. The ultimate victory, the ultimate victory of tomorrow is with democracy and through democracy with education. For no people in all the world can be kept eternally ignorant or eternally enslaved. In a historic message to Congress, the President makes America's policy clear, a policy to which events of 1938 have given great significance. Resolute in our determination to respect the rights of others and to command respect for the rights of ourselves, we must keep ourselves adequately strong in national defense. 